What's up guys, Jack here, and in this video for you today, I have my top City of Tweaks compatible with iOS 7. This is episode 2, if you missed the previous one, I have a link in the description, but let's get straight into it. So this first one I have for you for here is called Barrel, now this is one of the most oldest tweaks and most popular, and as you can see, it just changes the animation you get when you swipe between your springboard pages. In my opinion, this looks awesome, there's a whole load of different uh, animations which take your fancy. I personally think this is the coolest, I believe this is Curl and Roll Away, and it just looks like a circle when you scroll. In iOS 7, it does also work with the folders, so they obviously work on the same sort of coding as the springboard page. Pages, and that just looks absolutely awesome when swiping through your folders and I just love the way that it works almost seamlessly you may have to use a third party source to get this as uh, the official one isn't working at the moment but be sure to use the official one when it comes working properly next up we have Zeppelin this allows you to add a nice little picture to where your usual carrier bar status would be it does also work on the iPod touch so it rem uh, removes the iPod branding at the top and it adds a little image as you can see there's a whole load of stock ones that are available and you can download some however they aren't working perfectly at the moment with iOS 7 as you can see it's very very nice and looks very very seamless I personally am a massive fan of the little Apple icon adds a nice little look and obviously it is an Apple device so it's pretty nice to have up the top there so this next one is called Transparent Volume and what this does is it allows you to have a different background when putting your volume up or down. So as you can see here, if I just show you on the home screen it's easier there. I no longer have a blurred background on my volume UI when it goes up and down. You don't have to respring when you change this. As you can see that is the stock. It doesn't look too bad stock but I think it looks a lot nicer if you have it on zero. If I just show you around halfway here it gives you a slightly less blurred, more see through look. Which doesn't look all that great. But definitely, in my opinion, having absolute zero on this looks really nice and just adds to the whole look of iOS 7. So, and I'd just I'd like to also say all these tweaks are available for free with Insidia. And I'll have all of them down below with any repos that you should have to add. Not that there are any unstock ones, I don't think. So this next one I have for you is called Purge. And what this one does is it just allows you to remove all of your Cydia tweaks very, very quickly just by holding down on one of the open ones and uh, choosing to remove them all. As you can see, they've all gone now much quicker than the stock iOS 7 way and much, much nicer than having to do it but individually. So last but not least, this is called Lock Screen Tool, and this allows you to change the text on your slide to unlock bar, and also remove the camera grabber, which is very, very nice, and adds to the whole minimalistic iOS 7 look. As you can see, mine says slide for cookies here. Yours can say absolutely anything, obviously. You just have a small menu, as you can see here, where you can type whatever you want in and choose whether you want to remove the camera grabber. But yep, that pretty much rounds it up for my top uh, iOS 7 compatible tweaks. As I said, if you missed episode 1, I have a link in the description if you want to go and view that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop it a like and comment down below telling me your favourite city of tweaks and some that you'd love to be compatible with iOS 7. And thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you're new here, I would really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.